Okay, so let's say you have installed your virtual machine and your uh, virtual environments that we have provided to you, or you have a standalone Ubuntu 2004 with Rust Foxy installed on top. Again, if you have another version of ROS, the, the commands that I'm showing here will be working in any other ROS2 um, distributions. But if you have Foxy, it means that everything in here, all the packages are compatible with the one that you have. So why we are talking about ROS file system? Because ROS, as we discussed, is a meta operating system that is connected to the main operating system. In here, we have Linux, Ubuntu 20.04. And all the ROS packages has to be inside your workspace. In here, we are uh, using ROS2 workspace. And in this ROS2 workspace, we have SRC folder. The folders in here are most likely to be a ROS package, but to understand if a folder is a ROS package, you can just go inside the package and see if it has a setup.py and package.xml. This is only valid for Python packages. For C++ packages, it is a little bit different scenario, but we are not interested in C++ packages yet. When we have a ROS2 workspace available for us, in the virtual machine you have, you already have the workspace. If you don't have a virtual machine, if you don't have a workspace, then please click the link below how to make a virtual, how to make a workspace. Then you will have a ROS2 workspace and you can continue afterwards. When we have the workspace, we initially have only SRC folder. So let's start the tutorial by not having anything extra yet. So I will just delete those automatically generated folders, first of all. At the beginning, probably you have only SRC, but if you have more than that, that is not a big problem. So I will open the new terminal it is giving me an error because I have deleted some files, but that is not a big crisis yet because I will generate them again. So in ROS, we need to, we are not compiling a single code file that we write, but we are compiling the whole folder, which is the whole folder of our SRC or source folder. To do that, we need to change our directory to our ROS2 workspace. And we need to call con build inside the workspace. When I press it, as you see, the other folders that I have newly deleted, they are automatically generated based on the folders inside my SRC. And if you can catch that, there are some folders that I am familiar inside my SRC workspace. If I go there. Those are the packages that I have. You have probably less packages at the moment. It is not a big issue, but the packages are compiled like that. And now I had 16 packages and it is compiled without having an issue. As soon as you compile the workspace, you need to source, you need to source your install setup that bash. I'm using the tab key very generously. Please use that one yourself and get used to that. Enter. This source setup that bash, what it does is we have the source folder we are interested in, yes, but we also have newly generated install folder here and it has a setup that bash file. Basically, what it says that yeah, we have something changed in our ROS environment and this has to be updated in my main operating system, which is Linux. So when you do something 
aka compiling in your ROS environment, you need to somehow connect it to your Linux environment as well. So this code says update the ROS on Linux as well. And if I go back, sorry, yes, this is how you compile a ROS workspace. But we know that we are writing our packages in Python and Python is not, uh, it is an interpreted language. So you don't actually compile it. You just like uh, run an interpreter and that's it. So why do we need to compile? In fact, you don't need to compile if you do just changes in your publisher and subscriber. So instead of using call con field, you can give a flag, which is simlink install. And if you call con build like this, then it is generating a sim a symbolic link with your source file and install files or build files, let's say, and you don't need to compile every single time when you run or when you do a change in your Python files. So what we have is Colcon build with simlink install for the compiling workspace and source install setup bash is to update the uh, update Linux with our changes in ROS.